welcome back to my channel. I hope the first time, blah blah blah, usual stuff. Right, today we're making something Christmassy because it's Christmas soon. Today is like the 2nd of December, so when this goes up, it'll probably be January. Hopefully not, but there you are. So we're going to make mulled wine, but we're not going to make any mulled wine, we're going to make mulled buckfast wine. Uh, for those who don't know what mulled wine is, it's a Christmas wine. It's generally just any red wine that's spiced with Christmas flavours, which usually are things like cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, star anise sometimes, orange, all those nice things. So we're going to make Buckfast mod. Cool. Very simple, very easy. This video is going to be super short, so, well, hopefully. Basically, get a big ass pan. Get a bottle of Buckfast. If you don't have Buckfast where you are, just use red wine. Just red, use red wine that you like. Uh, this is 75 cl of wine. Uh, now this is the absolute gyro version of mulled wine. There is absolutely better ways to make mulled wine, but if you don't have a lot of money and don't have a lot of ingredients or culture, just do this because that is what it is. Also, if you don't if you want to be somewhere in the middle, right, uh, you can get things like this. I bought this from a friend because she likes uh, like mulled wine that's non-alcoholic. But yeah, you can buy a packet that has the instructions on the back. Oh, Kiss. Yeah, has the instructions on the back, has everything you need in it. And I've not opened this yet, but I'm pretty sure it's a bukigani. So essentially a bukigani is like a tea bag of bits uh, that you like float in the thing and then you do what you do and you take it out and that's you. Uh, so yeah, there's many options to make mulled wine, but this is just the cheap, non-fussy way. So, you've shoved that in there, get them vanilla sugar, which is essentially just coffee sugar, it's like brown sugar, kind of. You need 60 grams of that, I think. Also, apologies for the oven being on. I am currently making cakes. Um, I've not started filming that yet, but maybe I'll get to that today at some point. It is quarter past five, we have. Do, do. Oh. So 60 grams, or in my case, 67 grams, but there's no going back now. Okay, next you need to put in half a teaspoon of Cinnamon. This is used ground cinnamon. You could be super fancy and use one that's home. Yeah, sorry, you could be super fancy and use like cinnamon sticks and stuff, but I do have cinnamon sticks. I just, this is just easier. Right, jam that in. Jam in a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Next, you put in half an orange. I don't have oranges. I have easy peel tangerines. So, I'm going to put that in. Why do I have tangerines and not oranges? The shop doesn't have any. That's as simple as. Do they taste the same? Almost. Will it matter? Not really. They're going in, they're going in about fast, so. Obviously wash your fruit and stuff, um, because is the peel is going in like you're just basically cutting this thing in half and shoving it in there um if you have like an actual orange like a big orange you're cutting it in half and putting one half in and putting a full tangerine in right that's what's happening get a wee squeeze but boop 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 right now i'll show you what this looks like <laughs> doesn't look great but i'll show you what it looks like this is what we have Right, does not look fabulous. We'll give it a start, two seconds. Do you want to see how tidy my drawer is? Yeah. But it works for me, I know whatever it is. Right. So we'll give that a wee stir. Mmm. This nice. Now what you're doing is putting this on the hob for like, 
as long as it takes for the sugar to dissolve really. Put it on a low, medium heat, continuously stirring until the sugar has dissolved. Okay, so because you use Demerara sugar, it, again, it's a coffee sugar, so it, it literally like, dissolves pretty fast. Um, you're not trying to boil this at, at all, you're literally just trying to get heat in it. Um, if you're not used to mulled wine, you wouldn't maybe know that mulled wine is drank hot, it's drank warm. It's supposed to heat you up in a nice cold winter's night. We are done here, so I am going to sieve it, just in case any pips or anything came out. You want to see me fail at this? Oh. 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 That wasn't so bad. Excuse me, Buddha! Do you want some Buckfast, Buddha? Yeah? There we go. Buckfast, warm Buckfast in a jug. So, essentially, all you do now is drink it. Uh, you can decorate it, you can put it in a nice, nice glass, heat proof glass jug or a teapot, put like tinsel around it and fucking throw hangs in it to make it look Christmassy. I don't know, what do people do at Christmas for Christmas drinks? Put a wee cocktail umbrella in it, I don't know. But yeah, this is what you would do. So let's try it. Uh, FYI, I don't like mulled wine, but others do. So I'm going to try this and then. Um, the rest of this is going to go to the editors and writers of Count Dankula. They're going to try it and let me know if they like it. Because they're young men and they like a drink, regardless of how it tastes. Right, so let's have a splash. What kind of cup do we have? Oh, there you go. It's Christmas mug. Now, I don't have my baby with me today, hence why I can drink some alcohol. She's at her grand's house. That is very alcoholic. I don't drink alcohol. Why am I doing this? <sighs> I'm not going to like this because I don't drink. And it does smell nice though. It smells. Do you know what sounds stupid, right? Is I would take that and I would throw raspberries. No raspberries. I would throw raisins and currants in that and leave it to soak overnight and then I would take them and make a tea loaf or I'd take them and put them in a cookie dumpling that would be nice at Christmas Eve I wouldn't drink it though I mean it's strong and it's warm <coughs> It takes my breath away because it's alcohol it's nice and sweet. The aftertaste tastes like um, cinnamon rolls. That's what it's like. It's like drinking alcoholic cinnamon rolls. Yeah, so it's, it's, that, that's essentially what that tastes like, alcoholic cinnamon rolls. Right. So that's that. See you later. No, I'm kidding. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this back in this bowl. You know, it does taste quite nice, it's just not my bag, because I don't drink. Don't know how many times I've got to tell you that. Mm. That was actually quite fun. So, I'm going to leave the lid off that actually until it cools down. If you like Buckfast or red wine, and you want to spice up your wine this Christmas, then that's how you make mulled wine on the cheap. I don't know what else to tell you. With me having Sadie, I don't really have a lot of time for Christmas videos, so all of those cakes over there may or may not be another Christmas video, I'm not sure. I have an idea, so that's four cakes and I need to make another four to make the thing that I'm trying to make. If I do make a video on it, it'll be very Blue Peter in the sense that I'll probably go this is how you make this sponge, but I've already made some. This is how you make this icing, but I've already made some. So I'll show you how to do it, but then I'll move on and use the stuff I've already made. Because it's going to be a long ass video. And it's half five at night. I don't know if I can be bothered. Anyway, nice having that conversation with you. Apologise for that. If 
if you liked what you've seen here, which you probably didn't, please consider liking and subscribing, or don't, it's okay, I don't mind. I uh, hope you have a great evening, and I'll see you later. Bye!